Hey, it's Dave. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have my acoustic with me. We're going to go over a song called If You Could Read My Mind by Gordon Lightfoot. Now I'm not going to show you the whole song. You can look up the chords. It's one of the easiest songs to play. I'm just going to show you some main parts that I see people get wrong and a little bit of the fingering. Song is played in G with a capo on two. There is a second guitar on the album who's playing standard tuning, no capo. He's noodling about a couple of times he hits the open E when Gordon hits the D chord and um, gives it that bottom, which is nice. So, starting off the song, I play finger style for this, so it's basically going to go... And that's basically the picking pattern for the G. And while that's going on, the other guitar is playing. All right, so. So what was that? That is this chord. Now, Gordon plays it with his thumb and finger. I use my first and second finger. And it's first fret on the E string, second fret on the third string. And it's played six, four, three, four, two. Like. That's how I play it. All right. This chord, you could call it kind of like an F6 sharp 11. You could also call it a D minor 6 over F, whatever you want to call it. But that's what Gordon Lightfoot's playing. So basically he's just going. And it's that walk down. Sometimes I'll play it as a D7. I think he plays it live as a D7. Most of the time I'll play it as a D regular, D natural. Um, the other thing is this walk down. I mean, you hear it like when he's like, I never thought I could be this way. And I got to say that I just don't get it. Like that whole part, it's the same as I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadow if I fail. Right, it's the greatest love of all kind of stole that section. Um, there's the solo section, which Duran Duran clearly stole for Hungry Like the Wolf when it goes. <laughs> so here it's uh, the lead is. At the end, he does a little tag on it, too. He goes, uh... But otherwise, you could just look up the chords and see what they are. Um, they're all basically the same chords that you would see in any chord chart except for this chord. And I just wanted to bring that up because uh, I've seen people play it not using that chord. And I think that's like the, um, that's the chord. I always tell people, so I play in this band, we call it AM Station. We play all these songs that you see me teaching here. All the 70s AM radio classics. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. to jazz my mind.
important thing about when you're playing stuff is to make sure you're hitting all the points. The points being when people hear the song, they hear certain things and they want to hear those things. They don't just want to hear you strumming around campfire style playing a song. Um, it, if you do it that way, it's like it doesn't really uh, stir up the ghosts, if you know what I mean. You're trying to evoke that sort of nostalgia within people. And when they hear something like... They don't know that those sounds are stirring up ghosts, but they do. So it happens in a lot of songs where you'll see me become like somewhat anal retentive about making sure you get a chord down or play it right. Like you could play She's Gone. I'll do you a little thing for you for She's Gone since I have the capo here and we do that. So here we have a B11 to a B. But we're going to call it A11 to an A because we're capoed and I want you to understand the chords. And then you can transpose it yourself. So we have the A11, or you can call it a G over an A. See the G triad there? But I'm letting that A bass note ring. You put a little phaser on that, give it a road sound. Sharp minus seven to B minus seven. Back to A11. Want it to be. Chorus. G, D over F sharp, E minor seven, which is kind of like this, almost like the G5, but with an E minor here. So you have the D and G on top. To the A11. So it's, she's gone, she's gone, oh, I I gotta learn how to face it. She's gone, she's gone. Oh, uh, oh, uh. I pay the devil to replace her. She's gone, she's gone. Oh, uh, what went wrong? We skipped the E minus 7 on the last one. back to another verse. Now there's a part when it goes, she's gone, she's gone, oh wow, what went wrong? Now we play a B flat 11, B 11, C 11, flat, F over A, G minor, C11, and again, we're capoed up, so it's all up. So that is how you play that song. You can also hear, when you hear the... Also hear a little bit of I'm not in love, but we're gonna do that on its own. So for now, I'm gonna say very good.